through high school, I always had an interest in construction work. You know, my dad was a union carpenter, so I always sort of had that in me, so to speak. Before I was out of high school, it was sort of a, an early interest of mine to be um, a self-employed woodworker, craftsperson, and so that started about 16 years old. So when I left high school, it just seemed to be a very practical mode of employment to stay in construction work, and I did that for several years. Um, like I mentioned, that, that led to uh, an opportunity to do some work at Jeff Fetty's shop in Spencer. Before I knew it, he had held on to me for about three years. He, he thought that as a young craftsperson, as someone that was good with my hands, he could teach me, you know, to be a blacksmith. He, he would always say, he would always joke that when he was introducing me to someone else, he would say, you know, this is, this is my apprentice, Matt Thomas. He was a woodworker, but I'm trying to get the sawdust out of his veins and, and put that metal in. Uh, it seems as though he didn't get all of it out because now I just have both floating around, doing wood and metal together. Afterward, in 2009, after of course a, a great deal of time had passed, um, I sort of I diversified a bit from my construction career and supplemented more so with woodworking and furniture making. And Tamrac in 2009 chose me in, in their annual report as an emerging artist. The Tamrac Foundation was always uh, supportive of Jeff A and his desire to introduce young craftspeople to the trade. It was last July when I was installing new roofing and slipped and fell and broke a vertebrae in my lower back. And as I was able to gain, regain my mobility, I realized that uh, you know, here at home I had this large wood shop to work in. I had a good product that I believed in, that I knew needed some adjustment, needed some tweaking, needed some help. And that's when the Tamarack Foundation stepped in. When I brought them my products, they suggested to me different outlets for them, different wholesale markets within the state. They, they suggested a few retail fairs that I do you know, throughout the year. Via the state commerce department helped us financially a great deal. They, they really want West Virginia to shine, to succeed. And to me, it, it's just exciting to put a positive face. In, in some little way, you know, I'm helping promote West Virginia. 